Thought the God of wisdom guides my path through the desert of my soul. The sands of time shift and swirl as I search for truth and meaning. Marked by the eye of Horus, I see the secrets of ancient Egypt. The pyramids hold the key to unlocking my inner power. I am a mystic, a shaman of the unknown. I dance between worlds, I am not alone. With every step, I awaken my soul and embrace the power within me. I dive deep into the unknown and discover my true purpose. The spirits of my ancestors guide my way as I journey through the stars. I am connected to all that is. And my heart sings with all belong. We got Ateva, Gater, I don't know how to say that, Yura, Nato. All right, we got these opponents here. We got some fighters. I heard that this guy likes to wrestle, like a lot, like from anywhere. It looks like this dude might like to punch people in the face. <laughs> All right, so we got some information here. Are you looking at it? You looking at it? All right, let's get to the stuff you, went, you really came here for, all right? Uh, this stuff right here, all right? All right, let's score him up. Urinato, Teva, Guitar, Guitar, Guitar. All right, April 26, 1996 over here. April 10th, 2002, Taurus, Aries, 4 and 1, 0 and 3. From Japan, from Cameroon, 6 foot, 74 inch reach, 6, 4, 81 inch reach. Ooh, he's big. Uh, we think Euro is supposed to win, but Mars period, Jupiter period, eight of clubs, it's Jack of Diamonds, and their records. Ooh, eight of clubs is not winning. Jack of Diamonds is, though. We got three of hearts. Over here on the left from Mars period, creativity or indecision and affection card, much aggressive energy are directed towards love, crossroads of love, influence of creative self-expression, socially good time. On the right over here, we got Ace of Spades and Jupiter period. We've got Key to the Mysteries card. Maybe involved in a secret business deal or have a strong desire for uh, work that brings much success and money can be a drastic change in business. Uh, large sums of money could change hands now. New beginning in work or in a new way of making money. Any new business or jobs that begin now will be destined for success. Many blessings will come from any involvement with the metaphysical sciences. Uh, indecision and affection card. I think this one's going on this side, guys. Two points over here. I don't really feel like I should explain any of that because this doesn't really help you in the fight game. It's kind of like a distraction or an issue. Crossroads. And, I don't know. It doesn't seem like very focused energy. Over in here on the right, we have a Teba versus Yura. We got the King of Clubs for Yura. In the Mars period, his highest card in the suit of knowledge. Expect much success in life. Mass that's supposed to be mastery, not mastery. Mastery of the mind, applied wisdom, guarantees success. Anger can come. He's got the artist card. Time when diversity brings many blessings. Favorable time for risk or speculation. 
If one can handle the risk, success is possible as well as with artistic or creative expression. Could bring great financial success if channeled into positive creative work. Uh, I want to give it to here, but I do want to give some over here too. Okay, so what we're going to do, one point, no, 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 no. Yep, 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 that's what we're doing. 1.5 over here. We're going to give a half point over here for the creativity and the potential financial success and stuff. Okay. All right, over here we got the two of diamonds. Mars period, money partnership card, represents a partnership for money with male or a lawyer or someone aggressive. Beware too much aggression and bossiness in business deals. Jack Club's young mentality, creative masculine card. Expect great success in any or all creative mental pursuits. Could mean much success and money coming from creative forms. Mind is quick and bright and can be focused on ways to make money that becomes quite profitable. Ability to sell ideas and products is an, at an all time high. <clears throat> Tend to receive good things from club males now, so like people, males in the club suits, uh, especially younger or involved in a creative profession. Is he a club? No. Yeah, he is, yeah, but he's not younger, but he is, it says, uh, tend to receive good things from clubs. So like get a contract from beating this guy. Sounds like it, right? Jack the clubs. Jack, jacks are like, the, they jack stuff. They jack it up. <laughs> and then two of diamonds, partnership. Mm, uh, someone aggressive, wear too much aggression, biciness. Quite profitable here. I'm giving the two points over here, man. I'm doing it. I tell you what, I'll do this. I'll do this just to be nice. 1.75, here you go. We'll give a little bit over here. For potential influence on judges or something. I don't know, whatever, I don't know. Some crazy shit, who knows. I don't freaking know with these people. No. <laughs> All right, we got Jack of Diamonds and Mars period for Euro. Young creative business minded masculine card ability to sell or market ideas, products or services with great success. Strongest of the financially creative used aggressively. This could reap huge returns, anger or attraction to males of diamonds. To males of diamonds. Male of diamonds. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Male of diamonds. Yep. 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 Billy saw a gray anger or attraction to male. He's anger. He's going to have anger towards him. Uh, spiritual money card over here. Millionaire's card. A lot of money being spent. But a lot of money coming in as well. Chances are good for overcoming any fears about money. Realizing the lucky seven can also mean a large financial investment in business or occupation for the purpose of expansion. Used aggressively. Strongest financial creativity. Products, services, creative. So we have Jack of Diamonds, Seven of Diamonds. Um, I'm going to say 1.5 over here because it, <clears throat> his, um, there was a mention of anger earlier, right? In the previous cards, it's the information. So I think that this plays into that and will hurt him in a way. His anger will, will maybe get him to slip up and get caught or something. I don't know. Or want to stand up and punch with the dude when he shouldn't have or something. I don't know. All right. So we have 10 hearts over here. Your uh, is love connection and activities with large groups cards surrounded by the love and admiration of people who have successful groups in the public and enjoy much popularity. The Teba over here has desire for knowledge of some kind or birth of idea, plan, communicating with the world card, thinking new ideas, thoughts, launching new plans, ideas and new forms of work for my future exposed to new forms of knowledge so like getting a usc contract that would definitely play into that ace of clubs ten of hearts over here love surrounded by people uh this one doesn't mention any money work can lead to money i'm going like this because it, we're on the long range right so this is the overall perspective of the year. So 
he did have a little bit of issues in the Mars period now with love, so I do put that in the challenge. Instead of giving him both a half a point, I'm going to give him a 0.25 here because he's in his Mars period. And the, the information from that. All right, there's a weird calculations you got to do with these things, all right? All right, so we have King of Spades, Nine of Diamonds, Mastery of Self, Environment card, and environment card, so he's the master of himself and his environment. Mastery of destiny and fate, through application of knowledge and expertise, achieve anything this year. Pretty good. Nine diamonds and completion of old values, year of much money going out, either for investments or expenditures, learn to flow with the cycles of prosperity. Release those things that one, one once valued but now has no real need for their life. Moving away from Cameroon, maybe? I don't know. I think I want to give the point over here. Year of much money going out. So yeah, I'm going to give a point over here. Because uh, your three also had this and he won. So yeah, we're going to give this a point. Okay, next up we have four spades and Pluto. Otar, Tanzan Lavi also had that, but he has the four of clubs and Navajo Sterling also had that, Navajo Sterling won, Otar did not. All right, um, card satisfaction over here, spades, four spades, <clears throat> great stability, security in life, the foundation of good health, and satisfaction at work, enjoy learning the value of hard and consistent work. Jack of Diamonds, uh, he has the Four of Clubs, and Pluto is card of mental satisfaction, stability, year of satisfaction in all affairs, mental stability, organization ability, and sometimes stubbornness. Oh, man. Stubbornness here holds it. If, if he didn't have this stubbornness here, I'd give him a full point. But since he does, we're going to do this. Yep, that's right. Alright, one point. Not one point. Point two. Point seven five. I can do this. There we go. Alright. All right, next up, Ace of Hearts. Dylan Montello had this in his uh, Pluto, Four of Hearts, or Ace of Hearts, sorry. Um, Ace of Hearts is card of soul searching, reach inside itself for the love that makes the most happy and fulfilled, then manifest the love as new people or relationships in one's life. <clears throat> Dylan Montello also had the Jack of Diamonds, though. <laughs> and we are predicting Dylan is going to win, by the way. So, Jack of Diamonds over here at Teva. Young, creative, a business-minded masculine card, transform self to become more financially creative and successful now, begin a new and better life in relationship to money and prosperity. Uh, so I'm giving the point over here. All right. All right, now we are on to results for the year, their birthday, which is about eight months away, or a little, on less than eight months away. And then his is April 10th. He's in Aries, um, about the same time, right? Result, here we are. Anyways, Queen of Spades. Dylan has the Queen of Spades and his result. Card of self mastery or accomplishment and recognition. Become a master of self and therefore a master of everything in life. Share the values of service um, with others. And then he's got an Ace of Clubs. Navajo Sterling had the Ace of Clubs. And that's a proven win versus a predicted win. Desire for knowledge of some kind or birth of idea, plan, communicate with the world card, change of location or business card. Transformed by some new plan, idea, knowledge, or form of communication in the year with new plans and new thoughts to do. I'm giving them both a half a point. All 
right, next up, we got four hearts. Navajo Sterling, but also Phil Latu, who lost to Na um, Navajo Sterling. Um, I had the four hearts. They both had them. Guard protection, love, marriage, and family develops stability and close relationships, creating family or marriage. Have intimate relationships by next birthday. Ateba's got four spades. Diaga had that, and he lost. Card of satisfaction, stability, create stability, security, and satisfaction in life, health, and work. Create foundation for self that nurtures self. I'm going to just give them both half a point. I mean, they're both about equal, right? Or should I do this? Huh? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. That's fair. That's a lot more fair. There. Alright. So there. We'll do that. Moving on to the environment, we got Ace Clubs has no environment, so that's a bonus. Jack of Diamonds over here has a Six of Spades in his environment for the year. Strongest Karma card could be the year of faithful events that lead to the destiny in an important way, finding out that what truly is life's purpose and when to set out to make a commitment to this purpose, benefit from staying with the same job and finding ways to improve it. Brian Ortega and Navajo Sterling and Phil, so that's not so good. So I, what I'm going to do is another circumstance here. Yep, we're doing that. What? Why is it doing that? Whatever. Alright. Does it still do it if I do it now? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay. That's the issue. There we go. Much better. All right, moving on. Nine of spades over here. Is a card lost its appointment likely to be here when one is ending up a major cycle, or one's life preparing for an or an entering into a new beginning of herself? Endings represent phases completed, and as such, they can be cause for celebration and personal acknowledgement. Now is the time to let go and prepare to move on to a new and much better phase of life. A tab over here is young, creative, business-minded, masculine card, guaranteed financial success is <clears throat> if one is ready to promote or sell ideas, products, or services, ability to attract the right people, and then to sway them to personal side in and almost now. More success in sales, but almost all types of business and financial enterprises will benefit. All right. Hmm. Which one? Obviously over here, right? Yeah. Okay. Moving on to the displacement. We got no no displacement versus two spades. Union or partnership in labor or social cards. Likely a year when grow to appreciate the friendship in life and those that may consider working partners in life will find these relationships require a lot more attention and energy. Could get a raise or a promotion just becoming more recognized for work than before. It's pretty strong energy and I'm host early. I'm giving the full point over here, guys. I don't see any uh, issues, really. All right. And finally, here we have Queen of Diamonds. Saiga had this feminine extravagance expenses. Caution in regards of over, to overspending and being careless with money. Challenges of spending money and beyond, living beyond means and social and emotional aspects take more time and energy often bring more fortunate financial configuration. Over here we have Jack Clubs, Brian Ortega had this young mentality, creative masculine energy, challenging creative time that makes takes more energy and time. Dishonest or underhanded things will backfire. Being called upon to rise up to a new level of communication, thinking and perception one based upon higher principles and more self-responsibility. Watch for a tendency towards stubbornness. Uh, half a point each. Yep. 
Yeah. So there's that. And then look at this. He's got purpose at finding in faded years, which is really good. It solves a year of recognition, fame, and business success compared to nothing. So we get two points over here. Let's add it up, see what we got for totals. Over on the left, we have 1.5, 1.75, <clears throat> uh, 2.25, 2.75. Three point seven five four four point five five point two five six six and a half six and a half points out of twenty. Leaves 13.5. Ooh, look at that. Transit scores. Ooh, and this. Let's double check the scores here. Two and a half. Three and a half. Four point two five. 5.25, 5, 5.5, 7.5, 8.25, 8.75, 9, 9.25, 9.75, 11.75, 11 wait, what? I must have missed something here, hold on. Let's add these scores up again, one more time, one and a half, seven, five, Six point two five. It's six point two five. Yep. So let's see here. No score for this one because we don't have his metric down here. So nine plus six is fifteen point two five. Sixteen seventeen point two five. Is that right? Because the plus nine makes it 15, 16, 17, yeah. And that makes it 15, so there it is, boys and girls. We're leaning on, still Yuri's side, so. Mm. All right, then we have a professional affinity score. Uh, I, we, uh, let me double check their finishes. He can finish by any kind. He can only finish by one kind so far, proven. Um, so no sub for him. Stupid. Annoying. You better. All right, so here we are. All right, so there we are. We're gonna get into tarot now and see what we can find out there and see who I pick for the winner. All right, for um, Ataba, or I'm sorry, we're gonna start with Yura. Yura, we have Cosmic, and for Ataba, we have the Wild Unknown because we don't really know so. We know more about you, uh, Yura, so we're gonna go with Cosmic because it seems like it's on his side. All right, shuffle up.
right. Well, with your eyes, uh, see here, he, <clears throat> he has the sun, the potential. He's favored to win. It's all on his side. He's probably going to wrestle this dude a lot and try to stand up with him a little bit. The energy's there. The plan's there. Everything's on his side. He has the four pinnacles in his mind. Stability, stable, contract, getting that contract. You know, there's Dana White judging or the judges and the company, you know. King of Wands here in reverse in his spirituality is a lack of passion spiritual passion or proper mature passion spiritual passion or discernment and appropriate information or wisdom with spirituality that might be an issue too um so he might be a little playful or immature or like not see that it's a, a bad to lie a little bit white lie kind of anything and uh he has justice in reverse in his emotions so yeah and like you know, paying off the judges to win. I'm not saying he would do that, but like, you know, that kind of stuff would not necessarily be a bad thing to him. Um, but there's this energy of like, maybe also that I need to win and I have anger towards this opponent of mine because it's not fair that I have to face some random dude we don't really know much about and I have to figure it out. That could be an issue as well. And you could be a little bit spiritually and immature about this with the combination of his emotions and anger, frustrations of, <clears throat> you know, you give me a guy with no video and then you expect me to beat him. Well, he has a seven of wands in his fight game. He's having to defend and fend off these attacks. The dude's going to come at him and just like, boom, 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 and just vicious. I don't know if he's going to be able to pull out, off a takedown. He has the tower in reverse here. Now, this is one of two things. This is either him barely winning through a decision and not getting a contract or losing, right, obviously, or socially just being awkward or sad, people not liking him or something like that or... Dana White just, you know, and come back in next week, next year or something like that. You know what I mean? There's that kind of energy going on. Let's shuffle up uh, Taba and see what we get. Tava's got the uh, daughter of Pentacles in reverse, which is doubt or like not uh, having any faith because there's no footage in him. There's this energy of like, hey, yo, who are you? What are you? What are you about? What what kind of fighting history do you have? There's some fo video footage, but it's not very like clear and concise and like, okay, well, this dude obviously knows what he's doing. There's not enough evidence, so there's just like miss because he's not the favorite maybe or because of whatever reasons uh, there's this energy maybe cultural issues of not supporting him in the fight uh, and he has the mother of cups in reverse and his intellectual which is like not divine mass, uh, motherly emotional loving inside of himself um, could be a harsh mother that beats you I don't know, some kind of redheaded stepchild issues or something like that. Mother of Cups in reverse in the game, in the mental game, in the mental game. It's like maybe child abuse or something. I don't know, from the mother, but not literal, like they should go to prison or anything like that. But, you know, like normal stuff that a lot of kids deal with. You know what I mean? <clears throat> uh, and it's, you know, it, it just is what it is. The sun here in the spiritual aspects in the reverse. Um,. Uh, this is like feeling like he needs to be bad or harsh or judgmental or frustrated or spiritually disemboweled from the opponent or like, you know, look beyond them like they're nobody or something. Ace of Swords here and the emotions as well is like very dark heart penetrating your own heart or a needle in your own heart. And like, I'm a minority from the poorest of work poor in the countries you're from japan what do you know uh, like i'm not saying that's what he's gonna say or feel but like that's the sense of the ace of swords in reverse in the emotions okay that's the, the, the harsh sense of what it means not necessarily that he's that way but you know something to relate to and what it means so there may be some dark hearted energy or ice cold um you know dark king 
energy in him. Uh, he's got the tower in his physical fight game, which is the ending of something, so I think he's going to lose. He has the judgment in reverse. I think he's going to have a decision against him, and he's going to lose. And we got Yuri, Yura over here winning. Uh, I do think it's not going to be easy. I think he might have to go three rounds. He could get the finish, so there's still that potential. But, yeah, I'm on Euro's side now, um, 100%. And um, if there's anything else you need, leave a comment or ask questions. Let me know. Like, share, and subscribe, and all those amazing things you do. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.